Taurus, my fellow Taurians, we're going to do a general read. We're going to look at your current energy. Keep in mind, this is a general. It may not resonate. All the messages may not resonate with you. Take the ones that do. Leave the rest. All right. Well, this is interesting. So the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles shows up. You're just kind of guarded right now, especially when it comes to love. Love has felt like this really heavy, excuse the language, heavy fucking thing. You may be hoping for some type of reciprocation from somebody, but realistically, you're kind of just holding yourself back from any type of love whatsoever. Uh, there possibly is that hope that, you know, there is that special someone for you with the Two of Cups, but your mindset right now just says, you know what, kind of done with this whole thing. It just seems like too much freaking work. You're just hoping for some reciprocation so that it takes some of the pressure off you. Um, with the Page of Cups, well, you do show up in the reading right away. The Page of Cups, you're hoping somebody comes forward towards you with an apology or a quick message. Maybe not going to be a big message, but you're hoping. Uh, the Hierophant, of course, your energy. The Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and Four of Swords. Um, this individual coming forward with a message is actually somebody from your past or that you're hoping to have that come from with the Six of Cups. And maybe this is going to put closure towards something for you with the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Uh, or it would just kind of put your mind at ease that maybe this person actually gave a shit. Um, kind of get Taurus that you're a little jaded in love. And, hey, I can't blame you. Because I'm a Taurus too. Uh, the Tower, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. The Tower. This possible outcome. Something comes in and shakes things. It could be a stark realization. This might be a surprise. But whatever happens, it may even just be unexpected. Um, and what that does is it clears the way for the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, this can be a new job for you. Uh, this can be uh, just something new for you that you had not anticipated before. Now, excuse me, my mouth is drying out here. The Three of Cups. So this is actually, could be tied to a reunion of some sort. Somebody that you had not expected from. Uh, oh, excuse me, my eyes are just so itchy lately. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So whatever this surprise is, where, you know, you get somebody that comes back into your life possibly, and you look at the future possibly a little differently, where there's this possibility of actually working on something with somebody. What's working for you is that life is changing right now. All right, life is changing. Uh, things are closing out for you with the world. Things have been successful, but you're still balancing out uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles sort of feeling alone um, and how that looks for you. Maybe you're feeling a little uneasy about um, the vulnerabilities that you may have. Now we look over to what you need to be aware of is the Page of Wands, followed by the Eight of Wands, the Sun, and the Nine of Cups. Page of Wands can be a message. This message can come in a flurry of texts emails, whatever, and it opens up the way for communication. This is a good thing because for some reason, 
it coincides with your Nine of Cups. This is something that you have anticipated in being part of what you see as success and a dream come true. Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and Six of Swords. With this, it's kind of see as this is a wait and see type of thing where you're being uh, thoughtful of what's going on, the things you're working on, will this person work on it, and how to make your life actually go easier. Facing the um, uh, responsibilities that you have in life. And then we see the Nine of Swords. And, of course, you're still perseverating and looking at all of these different things to make sure that you're doing the right things in order to have the right things. The other words that come to mind is you are choosing based on what the consequences could be. So you're choosing your consequences and making your decisions from that way, which does make sense, right? So, Taurus, that's what I have for you today. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down or leave me a comment in the section below. And we will see you next time. Stay safe.